Hey, Randy. Big fan. Um, I'm not at peace with my money. It costs $8 a month to feed a starving child. And I also feel like it's appropriate to set aside some money for a future. It's a future that's unknown. And for years, I, have, I, have, I don't have a clue how much to go this way and how much to go that way. Can you help me? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you, I mean, you have just put your finger on uh, the great struggle that we all should have. And, and let me just tell you, if you don't have that struggle at all, I think something's wrong. We are in this beautiful place, and if I thought it was wrong to be here, I would not be here. But when I think of what it costs for Disney, and I didn't feel it was wrong, I don't feel it was wrong the last couple of days, but then I look at world need. And in our lives, the answer to that has been we still live with that tension, but as God has provided abundance for us through the book royalties, we also give additionally through the wages we make, which are not large wages by our culture standards, but by global standards are still huge. Historical standards still huge. And we try to, if you're going to err, err on the side of giving, and in the end, I don't think it's going to be an error. I don't think any of us are going to stand before the judgment seat of Christ. He's going to say, here's, here's what I've got against you. You gave away too much to the needy and to evangelize <laughs> the world and to reach the nations that people of every tribe and nation and language could know me and have the Bible in their own language and see the Jesus film and hear the gospel and uh, you know, the feeding the hungry and, and, and all that, that, that that's not going to happen. So I think we have to continue to live with this tension and try to moderate our lifestyles. And in some cases, it's going to mean liquidating assets, moving to a smaller home, or selling a second or third home. For other cases, it's going to mean not buying the new cars, buying used cars. It's going to mean adjustments sometimes of where we go on vacation, but nobody can make that call for you. I can't make that call for you. I'm not going to say, if you drive this kind of car, it's right. If you drive this car kind of car, it's wrong. Of course, that's silly. But I do think every one of us should search our hearts before the Lord and say, Lord, you have given me all this, not surely simply to increase my standard of living, but to increase my standard of giving so that I can invest uh, in the world in such a way that in the end not only keeps people alive, not only gets people the gospel, but so that one day we can hear as financial planners, financial counselors, uh, housewives, teachers, ministry people, whoever you are, that one day you could hear him say those incredible words, and we should live to hear those words. Well done, my good and faithful servant. Enter into your master's joy. Ask him what would please him for you to do with the money that belongs not to you and me, but to him.